is Lisa. Nice to see you. It's been a little while. If you don't know me very well or you have not seen me for a while, what I do the most on YouTube is travel videos and obviously 2020 was not the year for traveling. Sadly, I got as far as Cornwall, which was a really lovely trip that I vlogged, but that was it. I was meant to be going to Disney World um, in, god when was it, July? We were meant to go um, to visit my sister who was meant to be working out there. None of those things happened. So yeah, my YouTube channel's been a little bit quiet compared to other years because there just hasn't been any exciting travelling to be done. Uh, but I do live in London, which in my opinion is a beautiful city. So there have still been little things happening in between lockdowns if you know what I mean. So I just kind of wanted to say hello, um, give you a life update and tell you some big news in my life in that I've moved house. <laughs> this is a completely new home. Um, it's a little flat. It's a one bed little flat in London. I uh, moved in with my boyfriend. I know. Am I an adult now? I don't think so because I still love going on holiday to Disney. So I think I'm kind of half adult, half child still. So I thought I'd show you around a little bit, do a bit of a before and after, whereas this will definitely be the before because we have so much stuff that we need to buy. <laughs> bit of a blank canvas at the minute that we need to make a bit more homey. But I kind of wanted to just, just show you around and then maybe in a few months I can look back on this and think of how far we've come with everything. Um, so I'll give you a little tour, I guess. Yeah, we're doing this, we're doing this. So this is our little hallway when you first come into the house. And to be honest, it's probably the only part of the flat that is kind of done. <laughs> so I got these um, pictures up on the wall, which I love. To me, a house is not a home until there are photos on the wall. We've got our coats hanging up. We've got our shoes coming all the way down. We do like our shoes in this house. This tile is not one I would have personally chosen, but beggars cannot be choosers. And here we have the gigantic lounge. It's probably one of those rooms that is almost too big because <laughs> there's, we need more furniture. So this table came with the flat. It is the cheapest table um, ever. We've also got our little post Christmas snack selection left over. And I bought these little piggies their little salt and pepper pigs uh pepper pigs yeah like the kids tv show but i kind of love them so they're gonna live on the table got my little bookshelf over there and another over here uh with all my books on this is definitely a work in progress obviously because london's now in another lockdown um so we me and my boyfriend matt are both working from home full time so it's kind of our desk space well sort of one of us has been sitting over there and then one of us at the dining table so we're not like on top of each other all day um which is working okay but i would definitely want to get a proper desk and desk chair but unfortunately all the shops are shut at the minute so i was planning to do a big ikea trip um but that ain't happening and the chair i want is out of stock online so sad times but we will get there this sofa also came with the flat and it is i swear to god the least comfy sofa in the world i've honestly probably the least comfy sofa i've ever sat on just listen to the noise just listen not great we've been watching some films on here and after two hours your bum is completely numb um because it's, it's just not the best i mean obviously i'm very glad that we have a sofa it's much better to have a sofa than no sofa but i'm really hoping we can move this potentially into the kitchen and get a nice cozy comfy sofa in here instead and up here we have something that i wanted to talk to you about this is really new so I was gifted this print from Mapafor, which was really sweet. So this is completely custom. Like I decided exactly what I wanted to be included on it. So obviously I picked London, the city that I love. Um, and then I customized this text. Um, I think it originally says like in England, United Kingdom. And I was like, I think everyone knows where London is. So it's kind of a Hamilton quote and kind of the truth. My sister Alice said, 
you know, that they're talking about New York when they say that in Hamilton. And I was like, every time in the Skylar Sisters when they sing the greatest city in the world, it always makes me think of London. I bloody love this city. Obviously when it's up and running, not like it is now, but it's my fave. I love it. And you can see some of the landmarks like Regent's Park, Hyde Park, the river. I mean, I could probably figure out where a lot of things are. Canary Wharf. London City Airport, Victoria Park. This is all like central London here. I also got this little frame with it and <laughs> it came and I was like, how does this work? But it's actually just like magnets. So you do, it's so simple. You literally just like connect the back to the front and it holds it up and keeps it nice and straight and with a little hanger. The thing that I hate the most about renting flats is that so few landlords let you put things on the wall so I always end up making it work somehow like a house is not a house to me unless it has things on the walls like photos or, or prints that you love or artwork and I can't believe how big this is when it came either it's really huge it's like way bigger than A3 um but yeah so you can um customize your own one like it doesn't have to be a major city like you could do like zoom in on your hometown and things like that um which is really cool for more bespoke things as well i think they also have like star sign ones and star maps of like special dates and things like that but i thought for a new london flat well it's not a new flat but you know it's new to me it's not a new build um it's nice to have a nice bit of London in it. So also one of my favourite bits of this house is that we have some outside space, hallelujah. Um, so we have this little, this is like a shared garden but with this little strip here is ours which is going to be so nice in the summer. It's getting dark now but we've got this little patio so we can put the table and chairs out and also we're storing our bikes around the corner so it's really perfect but when we can, when it's summer and we can open these double doors, it is gonna be heaven. This is a little bedroom. Thankfully, the previous tenants had these massive wardrobes that they didn't want, so we kept them, which is so handy because I have a lot of stuff. All of this is full and all of that is mine as well. Oopsie. So we have the bathroom in there. Um, one of my favorite New York prints up here and then here is the separate kitchen, which is also pretty rare for London. So we've got the washing machine, loads of cupboard space, kitchen, gas hob, which is also super rare because mostly it's like induction or electric, which I hate. And I actually have a proper fridge that I can put all my fridge magnets on. Got this one from Cornwall this year, Riga last year, and I got quite a few in Canada. I went a bit overboard. Oh, my Disney Cruise one as well. So yeah, that's pretty much the little flat. This is my going to be my lockdown project for the last latest lockdown. We're on like lockdown four or something like that now. I can't even, I don't even know. But I need a little project and this is going to be it. Sorting out this room in particular needs a better layout. Just making it a bit more homey, you know. It's definitely getting there. Um, it's already so much more homey than when we first moved in and i'm just so excited to be in this flat the location is also great i love this area um a lot and it's so nice to have a bit of a new place to explore as well while there's nothing else that we can really do so if you're not in the uk london is currently in tier 4 lockdown which means we can only leave for food and exercise pretty much. I'm pretty sure that's the only two reasons. Um, so going to the shops and then um, you can exercise as much as you like. So that's basically endless walks and cycles. I've got my bike now, but it's so freezing outside and also like jogging, running, um, all that stuff. Um, so it's basically having to keep yourself occupied in other ways, which I'm getting really used to now. <laughs> It's quite bad, but like I'm more used to this now than I was to my old life where I used to go out after work like four nights a week. And I think back to that time and I'm like, how on earth did I do that? I just don't understand how I had that stamina. So yeah, that's what's happening with me. I hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy. Um, and that, yeah, just keep on keeping on if you can. Um, I know it's been a pretty rubbish time, rubbish year for 
most people but I'm hopeful it will start picking up soon and yeah got a few ideas for where I'd like to travel to this year so we'll see what happens see if I can bring you any new travel vlogs but fingers crossed gotta get somewhere um we have still got turkey booked for may and i really don't know if that's gonna happen at this point i really hope it is hopefully it'll be something like where we get a covid test um like the day before or something and then we're allowed to to get on the flight let me know if there's any other um videos that you'd like to see from me i was thinking maybe like a lockdown day in my life like a working from home one and a weekend one or something like that um so yeah let me know how you are i'd love to hear from you in the comments um both new and returning people of course everyone is welcome um but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed my <laughs> little one bed house tour obviously it's not the uh not the biggest place to look around um but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon stay safe bye